We all know that uh, trade cannot happen in an environment where there is no peace. So the intention of uh, government is to ensure that we leverage all perfectly on the nexus between trade and security. Uh, the situation that is happening in our neighbors is such that uh, trade cannot thrive. And so uh, the ECOWAS sets of states has therefore decided in reaction to what is happening that has strengthened the peace of uh, not just the country but has the potential to affect the stability, the political stability of the sub-region has decided that we should cease trading with uh, our neighbor, the Republic of Niger. This is why the decision to close the land borders with this country has been taken and my mission here is to uh, restate the directive of President Bolhamed Tinubu, uh, not just as the Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but also as the Chairman of ECOWAS, that has decided in their wisdom that one of the things we needed to do was to close the border. So what we are seeing here in Jibia, in uh, Ilela border would be a temporary thing until we have a final resolution of the crisis in that place. And I'm happy that uh, in my interaction with the community, uh, the community have pledged their support as law-abiding uh, citizens. Uh, they have uh, promised that they would support the customs and all the security agencies that are uh, charged with the responsibility of implementing this decision of border closure. There could be some uh, pains involved in this exercise but then no, no, no pain is too big, uh, no price is too big to pay for peace. You know, we want peace in Niger, but we also want peace all over the sub-region. So this uh, effort is to ensure that democracy is restored so that we can guarantee peace in Niger, in Nigeria, and in the entire sub-region.